Hey everyone, it's Brittany. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about our furry friends. I love dogs. I have a dog. Her name is Luna. Some of you guys probably already know her. Having a dog is a very large commitment and it requires some potential changes in your life or just getting some new things. So this video is all about my essentials for dog owners. I hope this helps you guys out if you are looking into getting a dog. I am also partnering with Auto Trader in this video, which is really exciting because they have an article called 10 Great Cars for Dog Lovers. I think it's great. They have a lot of great tips on what is important to have in a car So if you are looking to get a dog or you want to get a car that is a little bit more dog friendly I highly suggest checking it out It's got some great tips in there And I think it's really important to care about the safety of your pet and their comfort whenever you are traveling around with them So if you are new to my channel, make sure you subscribe and let's go ahead and get started So National Dog Day is coming up very soon It is on August 26th and in celebration of that Auto Trader has an article right now called 10 great cars for dog lovers personally when I was looking for a new car I highly considered Luna how I was going to be able to transport her if it was going to be easy and if she was going to be comfortable so if you are the same as me and you do care about your dogs comfort and safety then definitely check out their article they have so many great tips and of course it lists a bunch of cars that would be perfect for dog owners my car has a bunch of the features listed in the article which is great and I I know Luna loves my car. She loves going for car rides, which I think is a really good sign. So I kind of wanted to go over a few of the essentials that you might want in your car if you're looking for a new one and things to buy. Of course, the size of your dog might help determine what type of car you're going to get because if you have a huge dog, you're probably going to want a lot of the features on this list. My dog is about 75 pounds. She is a Rottweiler French Bulldog Pug Cross. I was just as shocked when I heard what she was as you are probably right now. All I have to say is that definitely was not planned. So here are a few essentials that you might want in your car if you are a dog owner. Auto Trader suggests having some tinted glass in your car. I feel like most cars are made with a bit of a tint in the windows anyways, but this helps provide a little bit of shade for them if you are going on a road trip or even just driving to the vet. It's going to help keep them a little bit cooler because of course they like to look out the window when they're in cars. A flat cargo floor is also important if you are going to be transporting a dog crate. A lot of the times they are quite large. My car has seats that fold down in the back so there is plenty of room for her to sit there or if I needed to bring in a crate or a bunch of other things that she might need on a trip then there is plenty of comfort room back there. A panoramic sunroof would be amazing for a dog. It provides so much more airflow through the back. I do have a sunroof. It is not panoramic but I think that Luna still really enjoys having it anyways. Cargo area tie downs are also great if you do plan on transporting a dog crate because it helps secure it. It's not gonna go moving around in the back, which could be pretty bad. And you could also secure any other large items in the back as well. If you happen to have a small dog, then Auto Trader suggests having a level rear door armrest so that they can help kind of perk themselves up so that they can get their head out the window, which is one thing that Luna doesn't have an issue with because she is quite large. And again, if you are planning on doing a lot of traveling with your dog, then having rear vents would be great. It gives a lot more airflow to the dog, especially if it's sitting in the back and they can get overheated really easily. So any way to provide a lot of extra airflow and coolness to them is going to be great. If you wanna know the actual 10 cars on the list, definitely check it out. I will have the link below in the description box and let me know if you have any of the cars on the list. They have both new and used cars, so there are a bunch of options for everybody. Also, if you are planning on selling or buying a new vehicle on Auto Trader, you can always check the Kelly Blue Book price advisor to compare different prices with cars or the one that you currently have, just in case you are planning on getting a new one. So now I want to share a few of my essentials that I like to actually keep in the car with Luna whenever I'm transporting her. It makes it so much easier. She's really comfortable and you can find a lot of these things for really affordable prices online or at pet stores or even some dollar stores. My first essential is a seat protector. It's actually the first thing I bought for my car knowing that Luna was likely going to be in it a lot. It helps protect your seats from scratches or stains. Sometimes your dog might have an accident or something if you're going for a long road trip and the one that I have is so perfect. I did find it online but I've seen it in stores as well. They are really 
really accessible, they're really easy to use, and most of them are waterproof, so it's amazing, and they are also usually pretty large, so if you did have a car that has foldable seats and has a flat cargo area, then it should be able to be used in different spots in your car as well. The next essential to keep in your car are doggy waste bags. Those are so convenient to have, not only for yourself, but if you're driving your dog to a park or something, maybe someone else forgot a doggy bag and you would have a ton of them and you can usually find them at dollar stores, pet stores, or a pet section in any type of store. Sometimes I run out of the ones that I keep on my leash, so it's always nice to have some extra ones in the car just in case. I also think it's really important to have a travel water bowl and a water bottle for obvious reasons. Dogs need to drink water and if you are going for a longer road trip, it's always nice to have that. They could even drink it in the car on the seat protector if they need to. And my last essential for the car is to have treats in the car. I always keep a bag of treats behind my car seat. It always helps if we are going to a new situation where my dog might be a little bit crazy. It's always nice to have some treats to kind of calm her down and keep her distracted if I need to. Or if she's just being a great dog, then I will give her some treats. So if you are planning on getting a new dog, I also wanted to share some essentials for your house as well, because sometimes people might forget about certain things that you might need for your dog. So I wanted to share some of my essentials that I like to have for Luna. My first essential for your house, I think is pretty obvious, but I still want to mention it anyways. It is to get food and water bowls. I recommend getting stainless steel because they are way easier to clean. You will also obviously want to have a really nice leash. You can find some great quality leashes at pet stores. You could get a retractable one or one of the regular leashes, but I do recommend having two leashes just in case something happens to one of them. It's always nice to have a second one on hand. I also recommend getting a harness along with a collar. A collar is great to have for their pet tags and identification, but having a harness is really good for walking your dog. I feel like it's so much easier to walk your dog in a harness and it's a lot more comfortable for them. Of course, you will want to have some doggy bags in your house as well. You can get huge packs of them from pet stores or online or even certain dollar stores. It's always nice to have a comfortable pet bed. My dog loves laying on anything that looks like a pet bed. So if I just put down a blanket, she thinks it's hers, which is totally fine, but it's always nice to have something really comfortable for them that is theirs. We like to to keep pet wipes for Luna. It's always really nice to have just to kind of clean her up a little bit. If it's really muddy outside, then it's nice to have them to wipe her feet off or to clean her ears. These next two essentials are for weather conditions. So if it gets really hot where you live and you don't have air conditioning or something, I would recommend getting a cooling pad for your pet. I don't like getting too warm, so I can only imagine what it feels like to a dog. You can find cooling pads at pet stores or online. They're usually pretty affordable, and it's just a little bit of a cooler temperature so your dog can lay on it at night or something when it sleeps. The other essential is for when it's really cold, so I have a couple coats for Luna. I have a raincoat for her, and I have a couple like warm coats for when it is snowing outside. Her fur is pretty short, but if your dog has like a ton of fluffy fur. You probably don't need to get a coat, but if it's pretty short, then I would suggest getting something just to keep them a little bit more cozy in the snow. I think it's always nice to have your vet's information posted somewhere like on the fridge or in the kitchen, somewhere that if anyone needed to contact somebody immediately, it would be there and easy to find, especially if you are having someone else watch your dog. Grooming supplies are always really convenient to have, whether it's dog shampoo, brushes, or nail clippers, unless you get that done professionally at a dog spa. And my last essential for the house is to have a bunch of toys for your dog. Dogs love to play and sometimes you can't always play with them. So I always love to have toys for her. She gets so excited when we bring her home a new toy and she really loves stuffed animals. Some dogs like tug of war ropes or tennis balls or those like challenging ones where you hide treats in them and they have to get them out. Either way, it's really nice to have your dog's brain stimulated. So toys are always a good thing to have. So I think that's everything that I have to share in this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you guys have any of the cars listed in the 10 great cars for dog lovers on the Auto Trader website. Again, I will have it listed in the description box below. And if you have a dog, let me know what their 
name is in the comments below. I would love to check it out. I always love hearing what people end up naming their dogs. And thank you to Auto Trader for working with me in this video. I love dogs so much, so it was really nice to work with a company who also cares about dogs. But anyways, I hope you're all having an amazing day. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!